Let's take a look at this identity. We are going to start our proof from the right side this time. So let me copy down the right side. I have sine, open parenthesis, 45 degrees plus x minus sine of 45 degrees minus x. Please notice that we have nothing else, just the sine of the sum of two angles and sine of the difference of two angles. That's why we're supposed to use formulas for these two signs, okay? I have sine of 45 degrees times cosine of x plus cosine of 45 degrees times sine of x. Okay, I finished with the sine of the sum of two angles, 45 degrees plus x, minus, this time I'm going to use parentheses, open parentheses, and I have sine of 45 degrees, cosine x minus cosine 45 degrees sine x. Next, I suppose to remove the parentheses. Copy down the first part. I have sine 45 degrees cosine x plus cosine 45 degrees sine x minus sine 45 degrees cosine x plus cosine 45 degrees sine x. Now please notice that sine 45 degrees cosine x positive we can combine with negative sine 45 degrees cosine x. They are going to subtract each other. Okay, that's why I can remove them. Now we're supposed to look at these two expressions, right? Which left. We have cosine 45 degrees sine x and we have cosine 45 degrees times x. Both of them are identical. So I can write as 2 cosine 45 degrees sine x. Now, cosine of 45 degrees is equal square root of 2 over 2 sine x. 2 times square root of 2 over 2 is equal square root of 2 because this 2 is going to eliminate the denominator. And I'm going to end up with square root of 2 sine x. Now let's take a look at this expression and compare with the left side of our original identity. Both of them are the same. It means that the left side of my equation is equal to the right side. 